Welcome to part four of the series, prioritization. This is probably going to be the easiest step in actually modding the cube. Uh, first off, the base assumption is that all mods will work. This may not be a good assumption, but for this step, it's a crucial one. Um, in this step, you're going to want to go back to your vision statement and organize the values that you have in order of most important to least important. Uh, this is very important. Not only will you be organizing the order of your mods, you'll be looking at dependencies. In other words, this is a way to check to see if your vision statement actually makes sense and is attainable. For example, you can't have a clicky feel and smooth turning. Uh, those two traits cannot coexist. If you run into something like this, you'll have to modify your vision statement before continuing. Another situation you might find yourself in is how to organize your qualities. For example, if you want brighter stickers, how do you order that in relation to corner cutting? Well, you don't. Mods that are independent of each other do not need to go in the same list. They can go in their own pile. All this means is that you can do those mods whenever you feel like it without the risk of avoiding the other mods. This probably sounds a bit complicated, but it really isn't. Uh, let's go to the case study and I'll walk you through the process. Let's first refer back to our vision statement. I want a cube that has the following traits. No lockups, fast, smooth, corner cutting, reverse corner cutting, no pops, no clicking, a slightly heavier feel, and a slight scratchy sound. So. Looking at our template, the Guhong, the Guhong already has the first five traits that we're looking for. So really the only mods we're concerned about right now are the bottom four. We'll want to stop the popping, the clicking, we'll want to add some weight, and we want to change the sound. So now we look at dependencies. To stop the popping, we're going to need to add some sort of mechanism to the cube. This means added material. This makes me think that I can stop the popping and add the weight in a single mod. These two are therefore going to be linked together. I also know that the current clicking makes a sound. If I stop the clicking, the cube will have a different sound to it. However, I'm not sure what type of mod can be done to alter only the sound. So for now, I'm going to leave those two traits as separate mods that will be done. So finally, we have a good list. Of the mods that still need to be done, I value anti-pop being the most, since a pop could ruin an average for me. Weight will be a secondary priority under the anti-popping since those two are linked. The smooth feel and acoustics will remain as independent traits. However, I don't value them as highly as anti-popping, so they will go below anti-popping. So then we get this. We get anti-popping at the top, followed by weight, and then we have two independent mods, no clicking and a scratchy sound. As we go on to parts five and six, the actual tangible parts of the series, we may need to come back to this part. If we find an additional mod that needs to be done, we can reorganize our diagram and repeat. Also, if we find that a mod had unwanted consequences, we'll need to reprioritize. So this concludes part four. Part five will take you through planning the mods and actually executing them.